Good morning. We're here at Paul Sherry's in Pickle, Ohio. Today I am bringing to you, or going to show you, a cutter, diesel pusher, Airstream, 1998. Beautiful, beautiful machine, Airstream. This is a 35, what they call 35 in the model number on a cutter Airstream. Let's start. Uh, diesel generator. Around the side is definitely a Thor product. I'll call the wheels. This is solid aluminum wheels. Two steps you're in. It is on a freight liner. It is a 300 caterpillar. There's the top of the, top of the roof right there. You can see it. It's got some nice armor over top of the awning. This is the 35 cutter by Airstream. 300 caterpillar. Lots of torque out of the back of it, sealed off nice, nice cap, looks like he's had a type of hitch that maybe you could use maybe for a motorcycle rack or some type of platform on the rear, we got all the doors, the compartments open so we can take a look at each one of those, we go here to the back, on the passenger side, compartment, propane, filters accessible there, docking lights, Hot water heater, quick retrieve. Again, those nice up color wheels, solid wheels. Storage compartment on this side. Put some mats down. Another storage compartment. Got looks like it's got a bit of a pass through, small slot through that pass through under the rail right there. But nice compartment on the inside. Batteries look like they're all brand new. We, we did replace all the batteries. So those are all of your uh, chassis batteries have been replaced. Uh, pilot light. It does have a little bit of, it does have a little bit of wear. You see a little bit of the clear coat. Put my hand right up to it. It's a little bit of the clear coat coming off of that. But for the age of the coach, nice shape. Airstream. It's had a couple of windows we can see the black right here where it's coming away from it a little bit it's on the dual pane windows that's kind of atypical where you see that over the years you can replace it with some single pane you're not going to lose that much of an r factor if you decided you wanted to do something like this so let's go around here to the front front side windows look like they're in really really good shape i don't see any stars or chips nice shape Compartment area up in the front right here. Here's your exhaust for your diesel generator. 75 watt. Call the wheels. Uh, it does have the awnings over top of the windows. I might make note, make, make, make note of that. Those are awful nice. And a slide topper awning. It's a little bit frayed on the one the ends, but uh, nothing a patch couldn't take care of. Uh, does have the compartments down below. As you can see with the slide out, it makes it a little more difficult to get to it, but we'll take a look at them anyways. You can see that. Storage there. Uh, let's hit this one too while we're at it. Storage, you can see the underneath of that where I showed you underneath of the rail where you got a little storage right there. Uh, not a storage compartment. Here's your water work system back here for your black, your gray, all your holding tanks, and a black flush system, which is awfully nice. Hook up your hose to it and clean out the tanks. So that looks nice too. Nice compartment for the black hose too. I will make note of that. Um, there's that same kind of chipping that I was telling you about over top of the wheel wells where the clear coat's coming back off of that. And that looks like you could put clear coat back over that and bring it right back up to its luster. Wheels are a little bit dull. They can be brought back up a little bit too, but they are in good shape and not corroded. Uh, back compartment's in really good shape. Clean, clean, clean. Clean compartment for the, for the uh, these are gonna be, the other ones are gonna be for your house batteries. These are your chassis batteries. So if I had those reversed, that's what these are. These are gonna be for the chassis. The other ones are for the house, the four. And they're all in good working condition. The whole coach is in very, very well good condition. I grade it pretty good. 
pretty, pretty good. The extension on the ladder, you can collapse that ladder and bring that up. Backup monitor right there. Nice looking old oak box. Let's go down through here and close these. Notice too on these two, that I want to close these latches on these doors, that this is a piano hinge type uh, mechanism here. That's nice. There you go. Walk right in here. Now, if you you want that, that some of them have an automatic doorway, this makes it pretty simplistic. You're just gonna, you're just gonna lower this down right here and this takes care of your space over your over your well well as you're going down the road and make it solid up in the front let's take a look on the inside of this walk in is some nice leather leather airstream chairs they're quite comfortable they do a lot airstream does a lot of things in different white and what catches you right off the get go to is as you walk in a nice padded ceiling let me get a nice view of that down through there you can see a nice padded padded ceiling from Airstream, they do a nice job in their white tucked type material. Nice wide leather leather seats. Go right here to the driver's side. You got really nice components on this side. This is a six speed Allison transmission. So when you put it in D, it will go. Automatic leveling get jacks right there. Owning on the diesel on the generator, like I say, on the 75, and it is a quiet diesel. Your startup's right there. All your controls are right there for the driver. Monitor it right off the left-hand side. All your gauges, very easy, easy, accessible, and easy to view. Uh, come down through here, look at this. Now, the only thing that I saw as far as flaws, like I say, that I can tell you, is like on your dual-pane windows, you see a little smear of the black right there where it's coming up and down. It could be owner, 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 owner fix if you want to. If you want to take that out and replace it with single pane, you can. Or they can be cleaned up or just left just the way they are. They've still got probably some gas left in them, but not much. On dual pane windows, that's what they are. A uh, nice view around there. You can see that. The only other bad part, too, the thing, well, I say bad, but it's been, uh, they've been resealed since then. But these, uh, the, this, on the, on the sides right here, it's got a little bit of wrinkling right here. You'll see it on both sides. It is solid behind there. It's not it's not rotted, but it needs to be repapered since it's been dried out. Now let's take a look at the rest of the coach, and you'll see that on both sides, this has a little, I think it had a little bit of paper damage, but not much, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, now we go to the rest of the coach. Nice little cabinet right here, a little barrel chair barrel chairs like what i like to call it so you can spin around be comfortable there nice cabinetry airstream always does fluorescent lights those are always really nice all the way down through the coach uh, nice booth if you don't like the tables and chairs and you want more to sleep this is the coach for you a little bit more to sleep right there couch same thing turn over to the couch on the opposite side boom she lets out into a bed right there nice cabinetry Airstreams always before their time on a lot of things. They've always, well, their, their solid surface cabinetry, they've always had it in place. Nice unit, nice unit. This is stock number R14046. It is a 1998 Airstream Cutter 35 with a single slide, one slide. Day and night shades, boom, boom. They're all there, they're intact, good shape. Refrigerator, freezer. Got your freezer up above. Got your fridge down below. It's really clean. By the way, I walk back up, back, back up here a little bit. The tile, you do walk on ceramic tile. They are solid. The pieces all look like they're in really good shape. So I walk down through here. Airstream's always good on, on, on putting a nice mirror in there. This is a confection oven. There's your, there's your stove top. All your drawers, uh, confection oven, nice, great big size one. Nice monitoring panel up above, up nice and high, uh, very well appointed. Nice wood, nice pantry. You want that rollout pantry? You got it with this. 
a nice pantry to build out. So done in some nice wood, solid woods too. Walk back here to the back again. Like I said, I can't stress enough that tile's in awfully good shape all the way through the coach. Really good shape. Solid surface again. You go right into your sink, except for the inside basin. Stools right out where you can get to it on both sides. Not a problem. Okay, walk in shower right here with the sky dome. So you got plenty of room. Come on over here. Cedar lined, cedar lined on the inside of here. My camera's really picking that up and you look at it. That cedar line really makes that makes it it's got a nice uh down comforter inside here too. Nice carpeted down at the bottom. That cedar line really makes your clothes smell really fresh. Let's walk on back here. And it is set up for a washer dryer. If you would like to install one, you can. And it looks like you could put a stackable in here or you could just put a split in. And notice too through the coat, you notice you got perimeter heating. I'm gonna notice just a piece of ductwork down through here, not through the floor. In other words, you don't see a bunch of bunch of holes through the tile going out through the floor. Very well, nicely made. Bed's nice, nice walk around bed on both sides. The bureau closet on both sides. Isn't that nice? Nice, nice, nice. So if you're in the market, you're that person that's looking for that diesel pusher. Give you plenty of horse with that caterpillar with 300 horse. Like I say, plenty of torque. Look at that in the nice vanity. Nice medicine cabinet. Easy, easy to move around this coach. Easy. Looking for under fifty thousand? Come see us. At that, that's at Paul Sherry's in Pickle, Ohio. Thank you very much for your time, and hope to see you soon.